everybody, it's Josh Kilicker with the Intel Vpro Expert Center. And today, we're gonna show you the park and patch use case. And as you probably read in my blog, this is all about managing that Centrino with Vpro technology machine that's in that service truck. Let me show you how that's gonna work out today. Okay, I'm sitting at the Vpro console here. Josh is out in the parking lot, he's parked the truck. He shut the client PC off, and even though it's off, I can still ping him here, as you, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is run a job against that, where I'll wake it up and patch it. As you can see, the script here is going to turn it on, run this little job, and shut it back off. So I'm going to say run now, and I'll put in a time here so I can keep track of it. I'm going to pick that computer that's out there in the parking lot. Say OK and launch it. Now we can do a couple things here while, while this is going on. I'm going to check the details on this job. The start is pending. I'm also going to watch the pinging here. So right now this kind of response is from the, v, uh, the vPro engine and you'll see it switch when the operating system starts. So we'll keep an eye over here and also here to refresh. To watch. Hi, it's Josh Schilliker, and hey, we're doing park and patch, as you know. And now I'm in the front of that service truck. And here we got a CF19 Panasonic Toughbook. And this is kind of your rugged standard version. And I've just pulled into the shop, I've turned it off, and now I'm trying to show you the steps of actually turning it on from a remote location on wireless. So basically, I'm parked at the corporate lot. I'm powering this on via remote console, turning it on, watching it go. And what you can see here is it's gonna boot up and it's gonna run a job. Now for all intents and purposes of this demo, I'm gonna show it automatically log in, which you don't have to do. You can do it without showing on the screen. And number two is I'm gonna run an application that will pause so I can show you the pause. Okay, so let's, let's let this boot up. It's gonna auto log in. And then you're gonna see the actual job that we've asked it to run. Now in a normal scenario, it would log in without you seeing it, number one. Number two is that it would patch the machine and run like your patching program, whatever you're using, whatever um, ISV software or patching software. In this case, for this, this job, I'm gonna have it run, is I'm gonna have it run calculator. And that again, just as the purpose of showing that from a remote location, I can pull up an, an application and make it work. Now boom, connected to the wireless here, you'll see I'm connected and then you're now going to see this application load. Now, might I add, we are outside, the doors are all open in the service truck. It is about, I'd say maybe 45 degrees outside right now. Um, it's kind of, for us, it's a brisk day. Um, you definitely, as an IT guy, don't want to be outside doing this every day. Definitely not what you want to be doing. You want to be doing this from your office. And boom, there you see his calculator. And again, I'm pausing it to show what it's doing. And the real world way to do is you'd have it run its patching and then you'd have it shut back down. I'm gonna go ahead and close this application And what it's gonna do is it's gonna signify back to the console that yes, the job has ran, yes, we have success, and it's gonna take the next action, which is it's gonna be powering it down. And that means powering it down for the night. Now, what I'll show you um, in the blog as well, and it may be the next blog or the blog after, is I'll show you the type of equipment we're putting in line between the laptop and the cigarette lighter to see how we're doing power management, how we're able to keep this on with enough power at the laptop for a few hours thinks it's on plugged in power versus battery power so I can do what we're showing here today. You can see now I've lost the ping. What's happened now is uh, the vPro engine has stopped responding. Now we're waiting for the operating system to come up and respond and you'll notice when it does the time, the time to live will change. This takes uh, about 30 seconds for the, for the operating system to start up. And I'm only running this on a single machine now, but I could run it on many at the same time and run this at night. I can see that the, that the machine's been turned on here. The, o, the OS hasn't come up enough yet to respond back with a ping yet. But the next thing that'll happen is the script will run. So let's watch this.
check the refresh here again. We are still waiting. Okay, we're now getting a response back from back from the operating system. Notice the time to live has changed. So the task is now running on Josh's uh, system out there in the parking lot. We're waiting for it to succeed here, to uh, for it to finish. And it has. And now the next step will be to shut, to shut it back down. So we'll wait for that to finish here. And there you go. Machine's powering down and this machine's off for the night. Never visited the vehicle, never saw the machine, took care of my business. So now let's go step inside where it's a little warmer and let's go look at the console and watch the console stuff. And we can tell when that happens when this when this time to live goes uh, goes to zero it means that the op the operating system is shut down. And it's running that now on the on that computer out there in the park the parking lot. There it is. So it's shut down and and we're done. It's, so it succeeded. After a time, you'll see we'll be back to the initial state where I can still ping it even though the operating system's down when the V-Pro in, uh, engine responds.